Hey Nathan, can you believe it? 1,000 videos, that's incredible. Unbelievable, folks. We managed to do 1,000 videos and we've got thousands more up our sleeves. Yes, and for our thousandth video, we've got something very special indeed. Tell them what we have, my friend. We have a 2013 SL63 AMG Roadster, quite possibly one of the finest Mercedes-Benz ever made. And more importantly, <laughs> it's a convertible. And here's a really cool part. Not only is this car fast and fun, but we have a very special announcement for you guys at the end of this video to celebrate our 1,000th video. Coming up next on the Fastlane Car. Nathan, I know you know this, but for all of you AMG aficionados, these engines are hand-built. Normally, this would be a 5.5-liter bi-turbo V8 that puts out 530 horsepower and 590 pound-foot of torque. But this is the $9,000 performance package, which means, Nathan... It's special, and that means it gives you 557 horsepower and, wait for it, 664 pound-feet of torque. That's incredible and it's paired to an automatic with paddle shifter seven speed transmission. The cool thing about AMGs is that they're built by proper German. So I'm thinking Gunther built this, Nathan. That's right, you would think it would, a guy named Gunther would make it by hand, but you know what, he didn't. All right, how about Helmut? Nine. All right, I know, Sabina built our engine. No, Kevin built this. <laughs> Kevin, what kind of German is Kevin? It's not very German. I'm paying $171,000 for a car where Kevin built the engine. Oh, he's a nice guy. Come on, Kevin, just get yourself a German name, okay? Just like Arnold, this Mercedes is completely on steroids. I mean, there is nothing feminine about it. It is not only an anvil and a hammer, but in my mind, it is completely and utterly masculine. Do you agree, Nathan? No, I don't, and I'll tell you why. Because the front of this car doesn't match the back of this car. They both look good on their own. The front of the car is really masculine and badass and it wants to hammer you into the ground. But look at the rear of this thing with the soft curves and everything else. Boom! Slap that booty! I think it looks very feminine. Hey, let me show you something cool. You know all the cars that we review that have fake carbon fiber on the dash? Sure, sure. Well, this car has real carbon fiber, but it's not only on the dash, it's actually oh, on the trunklet. Check that out. Who knew that? That's really cool. For $171,000, you get... You get, you get real carbon fiber. Yeah. Wow, that's really cool. Get ready to have your heart beat faster because this car has one of the sexiest, most manly exhaust notes out of any car we've tested up here. All right, here we go. I'm starting it up. That's not bad, right? Not bad. This is one of the most luxurious, most elegant interiors I've been in, Nathan. Everything in here is real. It feels just like we've spent $171,000. I love the fact that the seats adjust about 400 different ways. They're heated, they're cooled, the side bolsters come in and out when you take a turn. It really goes to show you that when Mercedes and AMG put their mind to it, they can knock it out of the ballpark. Without a doubt. One thing that's really important to me is I normally hate the look of carbon fiber. I just think it's wasteful and silly. But in this particular case, AMG has made it tasteful and it's actually an integral part of this car. Yeah, it really works well. Let me show you some magic they've done. And I don't know how they've done this, but I'm gonna start the engine here and I'm gonna put the top up and you will not hear the top going up. Usually when you have a soft top or a hard top, there's a lot of sound of whirling of motors working. Sure, sure, sure. Let's see if we can get this thing to make any sound. Listen. To make what sound? I, well, you gotta start using it. Seriously? Yeah, isn't that crazy? Look at that. Unfreaking believable. I didn't hear it, I swear to God, folks. I mean, and the engine isn't that loud at idle. And the other crazy thing is, 
once the top is down, uh -huh. it's a hard top. This car becomes rigid, and having driven it all week, I can tell you there is no cowl shake. No cowl shake. Okay. <laughs> we should take it out for a ride. And we have to find out how fast it goes, zero to 60. This has the potential to be one of the fastest cars we've ever tested up here. rustling your hair yeah a little bit it's rustling my beard it is it is so check this out not only can you put all the windows up uh -huh. but you also have this really cool little look at that Ooh. oh oh yeah we are living and we have cold seats because it's oh, kind of yeah. hot fired up and if it were cold we have a little air scarf that would blow on our necks to warm us up so that the chill of the night doesn't affect our dainty personalities <laughs> <laughs> all right yeah this is god this thing is it's so smooth in comfort mode you know what i mean it's it's it is a nice gt car but there is a little and a little stiffness that resonates through the cockpit yeah and that's the key nathan it's a gt car this is not a track car you say that but it has 663 pound feet of torque what are you going to do with that much torque on a gt car no no, no. you got to put it on the track and you and i both know on the track this thing is just not quite happy. Yeah, the, what happens is it pushes too much, right? There's too much weight over the front wheels and it just starts to want to kind of go straight instead of the way that the tires and wheels are pointed. Just because there is so much weight and so much mass behind all the motors that make all the wonder of this car work. I think that in the end, the people who are going to want to drive this are the ones who are going to want to show off their biggest junk. <laughs> and there is a junk button right here, Nathan. We have obviously a lot of different comfort settings, but this AMG button, that is the extend your junk <laughs> contest button. So if you pull up to somebody to stop sign or stop light and they have, say, a Porsche, you hit that AMG button and you get, well, more junk. I'm not negative against this car in any way, by the way, folks. It's a wonderfully driving car and it's, it's an AMG, so there's something very important that you can do. It's something that is fundamental and something that men, because I don't know any women who would really feel this way because I'm not a girl, really enjoy. And that is, if I may, in, in five seconds, three, two, one. Oh my God! Ah! That's the best! <laughs> And you know that torque just pushes you backward and you feel like you're gonna enter light speed and jump through a wormhole at any second. <laughs> All right guys, zero to 60 at a mile above sea level. This car has two turbos, which should help up here. It also has launch control. There are a lot of different buttons here, which do a lot of different things, including tightening up the suspension. But what we really care about is RS, which in AMG speak means race mode. So I've got it in sports handling mode. I've got the breakdown. I'm gonna put it over here to RS mode. Paddle shifter up, Got it, let go. There we go, a little bit of wheel spin. And there's 60. Oh, yeah. That was 4.24 seconds. So at sea level, this is in the threes. Not bad, not bad at all. I think it has almost too much torque. It just seems like it's, uh, you know, letting, uh, letting the torque get the better of those fat rear wheels and maybe they need to be even fatter. On the TFL scale of buy it, lease it, rent it, or forget it, Nathan, what do you give this monster Mercedes with the engine built by Kevin? Kevin, you kicked ass, my friend. This is an amazing engine, but I can't give it a buy it. I have to give it a lease it because it's a mishmash between GT car and track car, but it's really neither. Sorry. You know what? I completely agree, Nathan, and that's why I'm going to give it 
I'll buy it. I know 171,000 is a lot. You can get a Porsche with all the bells and whistles. You can get a Viper, but I don't care. When I hear the sound of that engine, my heart goes, and I am completely and utterly in love with this car. I can't stand the fact they're gonna take it away from us. As always, this is Roman and Mr. Lederhosen. Saying so long for watching. And remember, stay tuned for a special announcement right after the close. A thousand videos. I think that's a pretty good resume. Wouldn't you agree? I agree, and I think it's time for us to expand our horizons. That's why we're going to make this announcement right here, right now. What are we doing, Nathan? We're having a brand new truck channel, baby. TFL Truck. TFL Truck, guys. It's not just about cars anymore. Welcome to the Ike Gauntlet. This is a brand new 2013 Ram 3500 that has a straight six Cummins diesel that puts out, get this, 850 pound foot of torque. And here, we've got a Cimarron trailer that weighs 17,000 pounds. And over there, that's the Eisenhower Tunnel. And we're gonna take this pickup with this trailer and see how long it takes us to go from here in Silverthorne to the top of the tunnel, coming up next on the Fastlane Truck.